So in San Francisco, we offer every person with HIV in our clinic therapy. And our goal is to have that person on therapy, have their viral load uh, suppressed and living well with HIV. Well, in order for that to happen, a whole series of steps needs to happen in advance and during. And those include the person needs to become aware of their HIV status. Once they're aware of their HIV status, they need to be connected with a clinic. Once they're in the clinic, they need to start therapy. And once they're on therapy, they need to feel comfortable staying in the clinic and staying on therapy. And this has been called uh, collectively the, the cascade of care. A statistic that came out earlier this year that was quite shocking to everyone in the HIV field is if that one looks at all the persons living with HIV in the United States and asks of all those individuals, how many of them have achieved a suppression in their HIV RNA or their viral load levels? It's around 25%. So the question is, why is that number so low? And when one begins to examine it, what they realize is that this cascade, this whole series of events that needs to occur, is leaky. And what we mean by that is people fall out along the way. So once someone's found to be HIV tested, they might not ever go to clinic. Once they've gone to clinic for their first clinic visit, they might not stay into clinic. This is a topic that's going to be talked about extensively at the International AIDS Conference. And one of the models that people will be talking about is this, the model that's been set up at San Francisco General Hospital. And we call it the FAST model. And the FAST model um, inserts itself into a couple of steps of the cascade. Um, we have patients in our hospital who come into the emergency room for something totally unrelated to HIV, are offered HIV testing, and find out they're HIV infected. Well, this is going to be a shock for, shock for someone, for any disease that one finds out in an emergency room setting. And we have a very supportive team, essentially a SWAT team, that comes in and provides supportive services for the individual about their HIV diagnosis, answering the key questions, answering the questions that are important to that patient at that time. And then also assisting that patient into uh, finding their way and navigating to clinical care. That's one of the first parts of the FAST program. The other part of the FAST program is supporting people who are addressing many different competing interests once they have HIV and are trying to stay into the care system. Um, in public health care systems and as the epidemic's evolving in the United States, many individuals have uh, competing challenges such as mental health illness, substance abuse, and other comorbidities such as hepatitis C. All of these, not to mention structural issues such as lack of housing, play into the challenges that patients have in terms of maintaining what our medical recommendations are um, to optimally treat the disease. So our FAST team helps access services to patients that can help them overcome these obstacles.